What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning your Dennis Ugas. Your Dennis Ugas, according to the WBA, he had this to say. The WBA do what they want to do. I'm not frustrated. I'm going to be the co-main event on the show on August 21st. For your Dennis Ugas, he believed that a showdown against unified welterweight champion Earl Spence was the next up on his fight calendar in September of 2020. The Cuban native reeled off his third win in a row as he defeated Abel Ramos via split decision. The win for Ugas produced a special moment for him as he was officially crowned the WBA regular champion. With Manny Pacquiao still in possession of the WBA Super title, the 42-year-old boxing legend was made a champion in recess as he remained on the sidelines for close to two years. That, in turn, pushed Ugas to super champion status. Now, however, with Pacquiao announcing to the world that he'll be taking on Errol Spence on August 21st in Las Vegas, Nevada, Ugas was reportedly taken aback by the news but while he wasn't pleased with being pushed to the side, Ugas can take solace in knowing that he'll make his return to the ring on the same card. Quote, he says that I was the one who was going to fight Aero Spence, said Ugas, to a group of reporters. Now, all of a sudden, Manny Pacquiao has decided to come out of retirement. Now they're going to fight. But supposedly I'm going to be the co-main event on the show on August 21st but I don't know against who. In addition to Ugas no longer getting a showdown against uh, Errol Spence, at least at the moment, the 34-year-old is on the verge of losing his title, although Ugas has done nothing wrong. President of the WBA, Gilberto uh, Mendoza, is currently leaning towards reestablishing Pacquiao as full belt holder ahead of the fight against Spence. We're working on it, said Mendoza. During an interview with the Boxing Voice regarding Pacquiao getting reinstated as champion, he said there is a high possibility it has to be run through a championship committee, voted before, and taken to the president. Under normal circumstances, when a champion is placed in a champion in recess, said the fighter is given an immediate opportunity to win his title back against the current champion, which would be Ugas. Regardless of those rules, however, it appears that Ugas could be on his way to losing his world title before even defending it. And he stated, the WBA, again, does what they want to do. I'm not frustrated. I'm continuing to train and fight, but I am the co-main event on the show. Let me stop there. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about when you're dealing with Cuban fighters. And I've been telling people that Cuban fighters have been thrown under the rug for a very long time. A lot of people talk about discrimination against black fighters. People pull the race card really when it's not relevant. But in this case, Yodinus Ugas deserves his shot. If you stifle someone to WBA due to inactivity from the fighter that was the super champion, at least Manny Pacquiao has to fight that fighter that they stifled or elevated to that championship, which is Ugas. So in a perfect world, Ugas supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao for the status, not a unification. Okay, I know unification trumps mandatories, but this is not a mandatory. This is an elevation. Okay, Jordanis Ugas was WBA regular. Manny Pacquiao hasn't fought since June of or July of 2019. So because he was in recess, because we didn't know what the status was of him going to return, they gave it to somebody that was active. And who was that? Your Dennis Ugas. So your Dennis Ugas by default, supposed to be fighting Errol Spence. Okay. And this is what it comes down to because Manny Pacquiao is Manny Pacquiao, because everyone follows the money in the sport of boxing. Ugas gets kicked to the curve. Why? Because people stop caring about rules and start caring more about profit. Okay, that's exactly what this is. And Yodani Sugas is a guy that is a very good fighter. He's also a guy that you know that if he beats Errol Spence, the money just goes away because there won't be a Manny Pacquiao fight. And so what people do, 
They back pocket these presidents and make them by making them corrupt, by flashing money in front of them, pushing that fighter that they already made by their rules to the side. And this is happening a lot in the sport of boxing, and it sucks for your Dennis Ugas. And, you know, he says that, hey, I'm not worried. They do what they want to do. I'm not frustrated, but I don't believe that. I think he is frustrated because if he wouldn't, he wouldn't be mentioning anything in the first place. OK, because he's saying I'm going to be on the co-main event. That just means they're throwing him a bone because they know they've done him wrong. Bars. So at the end of the day, I think your Dennis Ugas needs justice. OK, and that's the problem with the sanctioning bodies, because when you hear a name like Pacquiao, everyone forgets about Ugas. But remember, Errol Spence supposed to fought Ugas. Ugas was the WBA super champion because of the rules of the WBA. They need to follow their own rules. OK, and then if they don't, they're no different than all the other guys that we uh, blast like Mauricio Suleiman over there on the WBC and all the others. OK, they need to follow their own rules for once. But this is not right for Ugas. He got kicked to the curve. And again, I hate the way they do fighters, especially because they're not the most popular fighters or not the most fighters that fill the seats, but they have their own skill set and they should be respected for their own skill set because these fighters risk their life in the ring. And because they risk their life, all of them are equal to me. And again, I hope your Dennis Ugas gets his just due because you don't give someone something only to take it away, take it away because someone else is mo more popular than you. That's not right. So your Dennis Ugas, I hope they give him something more than just a bone on a co-main event because he's supposed to be the main event counterpunch. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of your Dennis Ugas telling his uh, side of what the WBA is doing. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.